Good evening, this is Luke Thomas Holmquist here with the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. And uh, we have four or five different warnings <clears throat> and uh, earthquake forecast for the entire, well, almost the entire world. Uh, we'll get to that right now. We're gonna start out with the uh, California forecast. And there it is, California. All right, so we have, uh, this warning here for the Northern California is out through the uh, 30th, which is today. So we have uh, another three or four hours left of this warning here. And you can see what happened during this warning. We've got a, a 4.7 up here, east or west of Eureka and northwest of San Francisco. We also got a 4.4 over here in uh, East Central California and West Central Nevada, and a 2.6, 3.1, 2.8, 2.7, and 2.6. But the biggest uh, quakes during this warning were the 4.7 in Northwest California and a 4.4, both of them very significant earthquakes here in uh, Northern California. So uh, again, still uh, a strong earthquakes is still possible in Northern California for the next few hours up in Northern California. And then the, uh, this is the, uh, the next forecast is April 1st through the 2nd. And that has a very strong risk here in the San Francisco Bay from Salinas to uh, San Jose, Santa Cruz, up to San Francisco Bay and Napa and Oakland. This whole area here is under very high risk on the 1st into the 2nd. And that could hit sooner. So we're looking a 5.5 a or larger is possible uh, tonight in Northern California with this high risk here. And then the high risk is concentrated around the San Francisco Bay on the 1st of April into the 2nd of April. And so if you live in San Francisco Bay, Northern California tonight and during the next 12 hours, on this uh, forecast up here. And then the, uh, then the next 48 hours down in San Francisco Bay, be on alert for something strong in, in the San Francisco Bay. For the next uh, 72 hours or so, most likely on April 1st and April 2nd. All right, and also in Alaska, we still have a uh, very high risk across the uh, Anchorage to Valdez area right now. So this warning is through the 30th, and uh, I believe it's still around uh, 7.30 or so in that area right now. So during the next 12 to 24 hours, this warning remains here. And then on April 1st and 2nd, another very large area of risk here, and that's near Iliamna, Iliamna Lake, which is right here, and extending west part of the uh, southwest part of Alaska here and Kodiak. So Iliamna Lake and then Kodiak on the first and the second. But right now the risk is very high in the Anchorage to uh, Valdez area during the next 12 to 24 hours. Over in uh, the Chile forecast, uh, near La Serena, which is right here, uh, we have uh, a 5.0 to 5.5 as possible in this area near La Serena, northwest of Santiago. And then after that, the risk diminishes. And most of the risk remains in uh, Argentina. And on the first and second, it gets pretty quiet. Just a small risk down here in the southern portion of Chile. So the biggest risk is during the next 12 or 24 hours, right here near La Serena, where this uh, this risk, high risk here could produce a 5.0 or larger. And over in Italy, it's already the 31st over there. So we're gonna go down to this next map here. The risk is building off in uh, Tunisia and Algeria. And then on the 31st of the first, the risk begins to build into Sicily. April 1st and April 2nd, the risk is mostly in Northern Italy, uh, where 3.5 to 4.0 is possible. 
All right, after Italy, let's go over to Japan's forecast. <clears throat> and we did, uh, we were warning about Shizuoka right here. Um, they got a 5.7 southeast of there uh, about a day and a half ago. And they got a 4.0 right in Shizuoka uh, during the last uh, 12 hours or so. But the risk remains pretty high down here, uh, southwest of Tokyo, south of Shizuoka, northeast of Miyazaki, and south of Osaka, right here. Uh, for the next, uh, let's see, it's the 31st, so the next 12 hours or so. And then the risk moves farther offshore, down near uh, southeast of Miyazaki, right in here. And then on the 1st and the 2nd of April, the risk moves even farther offshore and we have some risk beginning to build west of Japan. So right now the, uh, the risk is uh, very high here uh, south of Osaka and south of Nagoya and south of Shizuoka. Over in the uh, Philippines, we have uh, moderate risk in the north right now and uh, moderate risk on the 31st. 31st into April 1st, still pretty high risk uh, across the far north. 4.0 is possible there. And pretty quiet, but uh, the risk begins to build on April 1st and April 2nd down in the southwest and the southeast portion of the Philippines. Greece is pretty quiet right now. Overall, most of the risk is down southeast of the island of Rhodes and east of Crete. And the same thing on the 31st. And the 31st to April 1st, still the high risk in the far, far southeast part of Greece and even smaller risk on the 1st and the 2nd of April. So overall, the risk is pretty low across the country of Greece. And in uh, Central America, now this is, uh, the risk is beginning to build down into Panama and Costa Rica right now. And uh, tomorrow, the 31st, into the 1st, we have a very concentrated risk here uh, in uh, Costa Rica and Western Panama. So this could produce a 5.5 larger in Southern Costa Rica and Western Panama. So we'll watch for that if you live in those countries. And then the risk begins to diminish after that. So. During the next uh, 36 to 48 hours, watch for a significant earthquake in southern Costa Rica and western Panama and Indonesia. Indonesia, we saw the risk begin to build into central uh, Sumatra for a while there, and then we got a 5.0. Now the risk is more offshore uh, right now, and it's beginning to build again, again uh, in the uh, kind of uh, central Sumatra here, and a 5.0 is possible in that area. And the risk begins to diminish after that, and still moderate risk in the, uh, the northern part of Sumatra on the first and the second. So uh, during the next 24 hours or so, you get a 5.0 or so in central Sumatra. Taiwan is a different story. We could get a 6.0 earthquake near uh, Okinawa in the central Ryukyu Islands here of Japan and northeast of Taiwan. We could get a 6.0 earthquake in there. So be an alert in this area and uh, Okinawa, Japan for a significant earthquake there. And then the risk diminishes after that. And on the 1st of April and the 2nd, we could get a 5.5 earthquake down uh, in the southern southeast portion or southeast of Taiwan. You can see it right here, southeast of Taiwan or the far southern portion of Taiwan and the state of Washington. This still remains here in south central uh, Oregon for the next few hours. And then uh, the risk uh, is across Idaho on the 31st and the 1st. 
and the risk diminishes after that. So the highest risk right now is uh, near Idaho and Montana uh, during the 31st, tomorrow into the April 1st. Turkey is a different situation, pretty high risk, very high risk actually down in Southeast Turkey and Northeast Iraq. And then on the 31st and the 1st, very high risk across Syria where a 5.0 to 5.5 is possible. And still in Southeast Turkey where a 5.5 is possible. Even a 6.0 is possible in this area in south, far Southeast uh, Turkey. And on April 1st and April 2nd, uh, Northern Iraq, Southeast Turkey could get a 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake. It's very strong risk down there. So be on alert if you live in uh, Syria, Southeast Turkey, or Northern Iraq. And in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean, we saw this uh, very high risk area here. And uh, I had mentioned in our last forecast a couple of days ago that we could get another 5.5 in that area, and we did. Southeast of uh, Guadalupe, we got a 5.5. Now the risk is uh, here in a similar area in uh, central Lesser Antilles, where a 4.5 to 5.0 is still possible in that area. Sometimes these uh, areas of risk uh, trigger a volcano as well. So keep an eye out for that. And then the southeast part of Western Chile is on April 1st and 2nd. One more forecast, and this is uh, very significant. Um, during the next 48 hours, we have this uh, forecast here, which shows uh, from Christchurch to Wellington, very high risk in that area. And then on April 1st and April 2nd, right over Christchurch. So if you live in Christchurch or Wellington, New Zealand, be on alert during the next 48 hours, 48 to 72 hours, actually, this goes to the 2nd of April uh, for a significant earthquake in your area. 5.0 to 6.0 is not out of the question during the next 72 hours in the Christchurch to Wellington area. Okay. Um, well, let's, let's go back there once more and uh, just do a quick review again um, in the California area. Pretty high risk across Northern California still tonight and a significant earthquake could still occur during the next uh, 12 hours in Northern California. And then the risk kind of focuses on the San Francisco Bay on April 1st and April 2nd. So if you live in Northern California during the next 12 or 24 hours, be on alert. And then on April 1st and 2nd, be especially alert in the San Francisco Bay down to Salinas for a 5.5 or larger as possible on April 1st or April 2nd. And if you need to, you can go and listen to this video again to get to your country in more detail. Again, this is Luke Thomas uh, here at uh, quickprediction.com, the Earthquake Forecast Center. And we try to update every day. Can't do that every day because sometimes we can't get all the data processed fast enough. So uh, thanks for uh, visiting today. And uh, we will talk to you again tomorrow, hopefully. And be on alert again in uh, Alaska, Anchorage area, and San Francisco Bay. Also in uh, the Ryukyu Islands near Okinawa and Southeast Turkey and Northeast uh, Iraq, and also near Christchurch. Uh, in New Zealand. Thank you so much. We will talk to you uh, soon. And uh, thank you very much and have a good night. Today is uh, Tuesday, so have a nice week. And we'll hopefully talk to you again tomorrow, Wednesday. Thank you.